He also came out with a very captain-like answer yeah. where he was asked about the All-Star game, and that's come up a lot because he got voted in. The fans voted him in, right. which is not surprising at all. McDavid got voted in, Ovechkin, McKinnon, yeah. and Matthews. Um, and Tavares got in, and Tavares has been worthy of it. Man. He's been a rock star for this team. But I think we can all concede, and most people would, Marner, Riley, Anderson, they've all made really strong cases to get there as well. And Matthews was asked about, I guess, him going to the All-Star game and a few of his teammates not getting to the All-Star game. Here's what he said. The way it's set up, it's uh, you know, a lot of really good players get left off the list. I think, I mean, in my opinion, um, having missed the time I did uh, and seeing those uh, those three guys, the way they play, Johnny, Mitch, and, and Mo, uh, you know, I think I'd give up my spot for them any day of the week because uh, they've had unbelievable seasons and they've been great for our team. So uh, that's just the way it is sometimes. So um, that's nice of him to say. It is. You know, he's in no control of all of this, but he, he did, you know, he suffered the injury. He was out for a month. Yeah. And... Um, Listen, I, the whole captaincy stuff, I, I'm thankful that once the games get started, we haven't been talking about it all. Exactly. It um, kind of really fallen by the wayside. The only time it came up was when one of the players' dads started talking about it. And then, it, you know, Marner's yeah. dad started popping off about it, and people started kind of discussing that. And Well, if Marner's dad's popping off about that, what do you think he's... Uh, <laughs> I don't think he's his, happy about the All-Star his snub. feeling about the All-Star. No, he should be. He should. No, Listen, he, Mar- Mitch Marner has been... He's, he's yeah. top five in points in the league, I believe, or yeah, sixth in points. He's been... Been exceptional Great. all year. He is an all star in any other year. He should be, but that's not the way it works because every team is represented. Yeah. But um, you know, I I like the mature maturity of Matthews. Um, you know, I, I hearing those kind of comments. It, I don't know what it necessarily stands for, what it means, but he's going to be in the running for the yeah. captaincy whenever they anoint somebody. They will anoint somebody. I think it's a three horse race. I think Matthews is certainly the lead horse at this point. He's coming around that final turn in the lead. I would expect that he would be the captain, right. but if it's not him, I think it's either Riley or Tavares. Right. I do wonder if and when Mitch Marner gets an A. Like that, that'll be a debate, you know, within the organization, and it'll probably depend on. You know, Marlo still being here, Ron Hainsey, I guess, being here, older guys within the organization. I don't think Mitch is going to be in contention for the captaincy, regardless of what, you know, his family thinks or whatever. But right. an A on his jersey at some point? I mean, that that's not something that you should sneeze at. No, but uh, does Patrick Kane wear an A? Yeah, he does. Is I don't a... think he did for a long time. Yeah, but I, don't I think, think he did for the longest time. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure he does now. And okay. listen, Kane had a lot of stuff going on off the ice. That's true. That, That's fair. Yeah. You know, it took him like he had a lot of growing up to do and he also had some legal issues or you know, I mean, I think that ended up being a bogus thing, but still regardless, he yeah. had stuff he had going the, on. in the back of the cab and yeah, there, he had some stuff some stuff on. going on there. So, you know, he was he was obviously he was dealing with a different situation, but Correct. I'm pretty sure he's got an A on his jersey now. And, um, I mean, he's almost 30 if he's not 30. He's been in the league for a long time. He's won three cups. But, um, I don't know. I mean, that's going to be the the leadership of this group, the core of the the group. You expect they're going to be here for a long time, regardless of all the anxiety surrounding the contracts and all that. Once everyone gets locked in, Matthews, Marner, Riley, Tavares, they're going to be here. But do you know who's farther down on that list for me is is Tavares? And and not because of his – ability to be a captain it's just he's older um he hasn't been a long-standing leaf like number one on my list is morgan riley i haven't i haven't wavered in that he's been my guy regardless if he gets a c or not i think a lot of things will run through him you and i were talking off air that's i i think that's i think austin matthews will get it it's the face of the franchise um, I went through this in St. Louis, where Al McKinnis and Chris Pronger are on the same, you know, in in the same dressing room. Both were captains. Chris Pronger was 22. Al McKinnis was, I think, 28, 29. You go with the younger guy, in essence, because you think they're longer career, longer tour of duty, technically. Right. Al McKinnis still had a, a massive voice in the room, and, and Prongs was our captain. Al McKinnis was assistant co- uh, captain. Austin Matthews, Morgan Riley, John Tavares. At some point, Mitch Marner, if they end up doing home and away, I, I could see that. And, and I wouldn't have a problem with that. And I don't think Leaf, right now, maybe I'm wrong on this, but I don't think Leaf Nation would be up and scorching the earth if any one of these guys got to see. And, and, you know, 
be upset at the organizer. How could you do this to this to player X? No, because they're all they're all beloved players, and they're all worthy of. It. They're all worthy of it. And they're yes, and they've been they've been through the grind. They've been here for a while. I mean, Tavares, like you just detailed, is a bit of a separate scenario, but he also took the plunge to come up here as a local guy and as a guy who has won the wore the C for a long time. Uh, back with the Islanders, but right. um, yeah, I mean, and that's it's an embarrassment of riches in terms of the young stud players they got on this team. Right, and you know, I don't, I don't know when they're. I don't think they have a timeline based on everyone we speak to from the the organization and what we hear through the grapevine. I don't think it comes up. I don't think right. they're in a back room right now, Dubis and Shanahan and Babcock, saying, "Okay, when are we going to make this announcement and who are we going to anoint?" Right, um, but. You know, I think it's just more about maturity, and these guys, they've been under the microscope. Like they've, this is their third year here. Matthews yeah. and Marner and Nylander, and they've all had different ups and downs and trials and tribulations, right. but they have grown a lot. Think about where they're going to be in five years. Yeah, you know, they're going to be that much more mature, and they've been through the ringer that many more times.